another weekly vlog. I have just driven to the Gold Coast. kind of just feel like I was in a trance that whole drive. Luckily, I hit no traffic. And hitting no traffic on the way to the Gold Coast makes me so happy. I've just arrived outside the warehouse, which I haven't been here since just before we restocked the original white water bottle. They've moved into a bigger warehouse to a different area and I have no idea where I am. I've parked and I think it's like somewhere up there. I'm being quite bronzed today, aren't I? I did fake tan and it has changed my confidence immensely there are so many trucks going past and they just zoom past me and it's terrifying it makes sense though because it's i am in an industrial area the reason for my trip i'm dropping off tape for a couple of the new products that i think by the time this video goes out they'll be on the website i'll definitely show you them but i got some tape made and it just says future you store which i think is quite fun so i think i've got like a thousand thousand meters of this so i've come to drop it off and talk through exactly how we're going to package and send off the new products and talk about just yeah like the back ends i suppose of the website also meeting lani and rachel here and then i've organized like a little lunch meeting afterwards we'll just go to a cafe get our laptops out have a bite to eat just have a bit of a team meeting which is crazy to say and kind of just plan out next year we have mapped out quite a bit of it already but it would just be nice to kind of like all sit together and chat through everything um so yeah that's what's happening <laughs> hello absolutely you can come sit with me later that's it how are you good how are you good how's your drive not too bad i just get stressed driving and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> literally all the trucks around i'm like oh my gosh there's so <laughs> many <laughs> oh, i was literally like <laughs> they just scare me so much no they do me too <laughs> Oh gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. I know. I'm a bit nervous too. I haven't been to this warehouse, so they moved. Oh. Since I've been here, so I don't know. But at least I feel like we've got like the three of us. <laughs> it's like it feels yeah. a little bit less daunting. Um, I saw this one anywhere that has, and it's 10 minutes. Oh, amazing. So I was like, that's kind of stunning. well jewel wash i'm currently set outside my gym and normally whenever i'm coming to this gym just like my regular gym i do my own kind of session usually strength focus however i was walking past one of the classrooms the other day and i saw a pilates class going on and i was like why have we never done a pilates class here so i checked my timetable this morning and saw that that there was one on this morning and i hadn't missed it yet so i thought i'm just gonna go and try it it's matte pilates which i've never 
have I? I think I've done one matte Pilates class before. The rest reformer. So I'm very excited to see how hard it is. Because despite what I feel like a lot of people think Pilates can be very hard. As hard as you make it really. I'm excited. I've kind of just felt like kind of being told what to do today. In terms of working out. Like I don't really want to have to think about it. I just love to walk into a class and yeah. Be told what to do and walk out and have my workout done. I have got quite a busy day today. So I wanted to get a workout in relatively early. Just so I can be more productive. Because I feel like I need something to set me up for a good day today. And a good productive day. And starting out the day with that. I feel like will really benefit me. I will bring my camera in with me to hopefully film stuff but I'm not sure one, how busy the class is going to be. It's a class I've never done before, so that I am always get a bit scared to pull out my camera and just be like, hey, everyone. Oh my gosh, there's police pulling up right beside me and it's terrifying. Yeah, okay, this is a lot more discreet. Police have just pulled up next to me and they're just sitting in their car. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm so intrigued. Why do I feel like I'm gonna be arrested for vlogging? I'll try and film as much as I can in the class. Hopefully I can just like discreetly do it. I need to head in, yeah, probably soon. But I'm excited, I hope it's good because this could become a regular, a regular weekly Pilates class I can do. Also, I'm so sore from my workouts the past few days. Inner thighs, ouch. Biceps, ouch. Back there. This will be interesting. <laughs> Outfit, shorts, sando sports bra, and this little tank is on sale currently in the Gymshark Black Friday sales. I'll make sure to link all of these below. I just came back from the shops. I did a bit of a grocery shop. I got my favorite almond milk, the best flavor of diet right and just a few things for dinner i've been so bad at meal prepping and just like making good dinners recently so we wrote a list at the beginning of the week for all of our meal ideas we've got bolognese fried rice which is what we're having tonight salmon and veg chicken stir fry steak and potatoes and then rice paper rolls but yeah we're gonna do a homemade fried rice tonight so i'll show you how we make that later on i also found this wrapping paper in woolies i think it's so cute i love this natural colored paper and it looks like kind of drawn there's a little santa one and then christmas trees so impressed with it. i did about an hour of work and i was just getting it packaged and i was searching the fridge even though i just did a grocery shop i somehow have no snacks searching the fridge searching the cupboard couldn't find anything and then i spotted this which came in a goodness me box like ages ago popcorn on the cob i kind of want to give it a go now we have a microwave it's like it kind of feels fake but they give you a paper bag it says place corn cob in the paper bag provided fold down the open end of the bag three to four times to seal place in microwave and set for three minutes stay close by and stop cooking when two seconds pass between pops wow okay i thought we could give it a go one two three four pop her in three minutes i'm very intrigued i need to stay nearby and stop when two seconds passes between pops two seconds between popping why am i scared it's literally gonna blow up Oh my gosh, there's so much going on the post you just arrived. Why is that so stressful? Okay, still had 48 seconds to go, but there was two seconds between pots, which was deceiving me. It smells like the cinnamon. <gasps> you are kidding me. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, yep, yeah, that's hot. Look, that's the cob. Maybe I did bring it out that little bit too early. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Delicious. That is such a cool invention. Wow. At home movie night, you just, you just buy a corn on the cob. Mmm. That's good. Yum.
surprised me if she'd seen it though. Oh. Do you have anything no. to say? Hi. Put me on the spot. I'm shy. I'm camera shy. <laughs> Hi, welcome to DYG. What can I get for you? How's it going? I've just got an app all up. Yep, you're good to drive around for the very last window. Thank you. Have a good one. You're so Australian when it comes to that. Like, you're like talking normal nah, and then you're nah, like, oh, I'm g'day, fucking, how you going? I'm British. You just go so Australian. You just talk normally and then you go, ah, oh, g'day. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, get That's how I speak girl. to like people I don't know. <laughs> I don't just put it on. I don't just get to the bathroom and go, all right, Aussie voice on. How you going, mate? What's happening? That's literally disgusting to me. Why? G'day. <laughs> I know, it just sounds so uncomfy. Makes yeah. me feel uncomfy. Sounds like um, Ivan Blatt or something. Who's that? Oh. The serial killer? I don't the know. The backpacker? Have you seen the documentary? No. Oh. <laughs> You're clearly not Australian. G'day mate, how you going? Say it normally. G'day mate. Yeah, see that's normal. And you put like a Yeah, no, but a you know what, no, you know what it is. What is it? <laughs> it? Like windows down noise, I'm yelling to the drive through speaker. Yeah, but you put on a twang. No, that just happens when I yell. Because like if I if I meet someone in a library, I'm not gonna go, G'day mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, G'day mate, how you going? <laughs> As opposed to the G G'day, yeah, let me get, like, it's just because my voice is raised. Why are your little Christmas pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> nah, these are comfy as. Yeah, they're actually Peter really Alexander, I don't care what time of year it is. <laughs> I just don't usually wear them out of the house. We just drive through. You gotta do what you gotta do. Get here, so like, sorry, the drive through's closed. You have to come in. <laughs> shit. That's one of my biggest fears. Pretty for some Aussie actors. No, don't. I want to go full Aussie. Don't. <laughs> don't, please. Why? Don't, I'm embarrassed. I'm going. No, please. Please don't. You gotta have your arm out the window as No, well, you? please, you're in it. Thanks, mate. Have a good night, lady. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to be with you. Holy shit. How many how many bags did we get? You ordered like the entire menu. What did I order again? <laughs> <laughs> to be able to go back and just watch yourself do you know what I mean like it's just I don't know it's very strange that was when we were living in the city in that tiny little apartment with the three of us it's just crazy because that was before the pandemic I'd only just gone full-time with YouTube I remember making like just enough to get by <laughs> I still remember actually having a conversation with my dad like a month after I'd gone full-time with YouTube after I quit my job and I was like oh like I'm making enough to pay my rent and buy food but we were budgeting hardcore yeah I remember talking to my dad being like oh I'm not sure like I'm thinking I might have to get a new job to go along the side of YouTube again yeah it was just so so I felt like I had quite a bit of savings in my bank account but I was dipping into them and I was just like this isn't good so yeah I was like so certain that I was probably going to have to get a job or another job soon um and I remember being like oh but that just feels like a step backwards and I remember my dad saying like it's okay it's not a step backwards like get another job even make it like part-time and keep focusing on it and then it was literally like a few weeks after that I released my ebook my recipe ebook and they had a couple of videos just all of a sudden I suppose not very viral viral but Kind of get a lot more views i remember being so shocked that whole time and just like mind blown that i could be making an income that was more than what i was earning at a full-time job online and working for myself i don't know it's just kind of like crazy to go back and watch that time of my life also i cringe so much at how i used to talk in my videos like why did i talk like that if any of you have been around since like 2019 please comment below because you're you're the real mvp <laughs> because the fact that you stuck with me through that phase that like awkward phase of my life and i 
think I have, yeah, I've definitely talked about this in all my videos in the past. But because I was always self-conscious of my teeth, I would purposely keep my top lip down so you couldn't see my top teeth. <laughs> and I just don't know how I didn't think that looked weird when I watched back the footage. I remember I got one comment about it and I deleted it straight away because like, oh, I hate comment. <laughs> No, someone was just finally telling you the truth. You look like an idiot when you talk like that. Anyway, it's kind of funny. And I have considered deleting all those videos multiple times, but I just think it just shows my growth. It really just shows me like growing up. I do also feel like, and I'm 23, so it's not like I have a huge ground to stand on. Why do like 17, 18, 19 year olds these days literally not go through an awkward phase? I just feel like they don't go through that phase and I just don't understand. Because surely we all have to go through that phase. Like, is it just getting younger and younger that we go through that awkward phase? I don't know. I wash my hair this morning and I feel fab. There's nothing like a fresh wash of the hair. Don't have any makeup. I actually bought these new brushes because I was using Mecca foundation brush. But recently, it's been leaving like heaps of brush hairs on my skin. And then I was doing Cole's shop yesterday, just walking through like every single aisle. One of those shops where like I walked in for two things. And then I came out with like two grocery shop bags full of stuff. These are part of it. I don't think these are the right brushes for like what they're supposed to be used for. I bought this as a new foundation brush. Like that's definitely not a foundation brush, right? They're the brand Eco Tools, I think. I got that for bronzer. Also, I got this dress. I'm in love with it. That's from Billy J and they have it in white and black. And I think I will get it in both different colors. It's like that Princess Polly beige dress that I literally have lived in for years now. But it's got this little like crisscross here, which I, which I think just adds a bit more. Plus it has pockets. It's just so comfy. I just feel so like, just perfect for summer, so light and flowy. I'll try and link it below, because I know that I'm gonna be living in it in summer. Whoa! And I really wanna get the two different colors of it. That's a bit of a better angle. I also made this coffee this morning and I've been making it the past couple days. I saw my friend Kate on Instagram recently whip coffee, but when I make coffees at home, I use the Before You Speak caramel sachet. So I just put a little bit of almond milk in a cup and then a bit of the Before You Speak sachet and then like whipped that and then poured it in and it was so good. It's like, it's like foamy. I really feel like I'm in America or something and doing like all of the cool like sweet foam things that they do over there. I also did a kitchen clean this morning, which feels good. So about to head up to the sunny coast because I'm dropping the dogs off at my dad's house. Um, Cause Sam and I are going away on a holiday for a week. They're gonna be looking after them. And I was cuddling them this morning. It actually makes me emotional leaving them. I know they'll have a good time. Anyway, that's my plan for the day. I'm gonna head off soon. I've just packed their little going away bag, which is just their food. And to make it a little bit more of a worthwhile trip, I'm gonna catch up with Maddie and Riley as well. when I'm on the coast, which will be good. Also, you know how I said I had that shop yesterday where I was just buying anything and everything? I decided to buy myself a new toothbrush and then went through the self-serve checkout. So this alarm thingy is still on. So if I tried to open it, it'll go off. How did I not connect those dots? She's not the best, uh, but she's currently with Matt. Matt's hmm, that's awesome. I feel like I was running here, there and everywhere that I forgot to film anything. I did get this one clip of me and Maddie at breakfast and I cannot even tell you how much peanut butter was in my table. I just want to talk to the person who made it. Like, I kind of respect it, and then I'm kind of like, that's a waste of peanut butter. Then I had lunch with Riley, and we sat and chatted at the restaurant for hours, which was really good, but I didn't end up getting home till five-ish, because traffic was shocking. And I tell you what, nothing makes me quite as mad as traffic does. <laughs> Since I got home, I've really just packed, as we head away tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. It kind of doesn't feel real. I think because I've just got quite a bit to organize before we leave. We've got a taxi picking us up at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna get up at like 5, 5.30 and try and like smash out a bunch of things so I need to get done before we leave. But I have something very exciting I want to share with you. <gasps> so this came in the mail yesterday. I thought I could unbox it because when this video goes live, these will be launching very soon. We'll have either already launched or be very close to launching. You know what, I'm gonna sit up. There's a few new products coming to Future Store over the next few weeks, but these two, are the first ones. I was gonna say if you've been watching closely, but I really haven't been like trying to hide them at all. We have the new water bottle colors coming very soon in a couple weeks, but these are the cups that are launching. Do you wanna do an unboxing with me? Oh, is your one. Yeah, so we wanted to cool do- rapping. Thank you. We wanted to do a tester for shipping to make sure it all shipped correctly. So this is me testing the shipping as well. This is why one of the reasons we went to the warehouse earlier this week. Okay. Ready? <gasps> Um, wow, well, they ship perfectly. You're not really going to be able to see in this lighting, mm -hmm. but it says do it for the future you, and then FYS, and then the little like, what would you call it, can glasses, Coke can glasses, which are perfect for beer. 
Well, so he actually uses them probably more than me. I use them all the time, they're the best. Yeah. They're but, like, so aesthetic, they're perfect size. They are actually perfect size. Really and I use them mostly for iced coffees and smoothies. And then, of course, I had to put some straws to go along with them. I really enjoy this packaging. I wanted to go super basic with the packaging. It's all recyclable. Recyclable? Recyclable. And you get three straws, all different sizes in width. So you've got like a skinny one, which I would say are perfect for your like iced coffees. Then you've got a thicker one, which are perfect for smoothies. And then a bent straw as well, because I really enjoy a bent straw. All glass and then a straw cleaner as well, of course. So yeah, those are the new products launching. If you buy them both, they'll come in a little parcel like this. Which is so exciting. I'm so happy that the depressage worked. I love them so much. So if you did want to be notified and just be kept up all to date with when they launch definitely go and head over to the future you store page on instagram and that will be kept way more up to date with the exact launch time and the exact date I'm pretty sure i'm not 100 sure when this video is going live but i'm pretty sure when you're watching this video it'll be like this week if you're watching it when i'm like close to when i upload it with i suppose coming out with products i always am so not shocked because like i feel like i should know by now it's such a long process from the point of like deciding yeah i really want to make this product or come out with this product to the point of them actually being ready to be sold so i feel like they've kind of been in the works and i've known about them and had the samples for months months and months and months so i'm so excited that you all can finally get your hands on them if you want them without our kids here our kids <laughs> <laughs> it feels so strange not having the puppies mm. like all day we've just been like oh or all afternoon we've just been like oh they're not just like sitting here or they're not just like being a pest yeah I wonder what they're doing right now i also thought products launching over the next couple weeks these and then the water bottles i thought would be the perfect time to launch around summer in australia obviously but also just for like christmas presents you know they're the perfect smoothie iced coffee thing and then obviously the water yeah. bottles beer you know really trust me crack a beer in it for all the boyfriends out there or, or, or you know girls that drink beer yeah Crack a beer in it and change your life. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this video because it's a Sunday night. And I'm going to start a fresh one tomorrow for our trip. And I'm very excited. It'll be a very fun but relaxing tropical holiday. And I'm very, very excited. I love you all endlessly and I'll see you next week. Also, I've gotten Sam to the Vampire Diaries. Oh, I know. He's a bit embarrassed, but... Good on you. I know you guys won't judge. <laughs>